Yeah, no. My heart is beating quite fast and I'm not even involved. The coastal taipan is the most dangerous species of snake in Australia. Until the development of an anti-venom, its bite meant certain death. And that's not blood on the ground, by the way. That's paint from the previous homeowners. <laughs> so this is Squishy. Oh, hello, Squishy. So sometimes he's reluctant to bite. So you just sure. encourage him to bite down on that? Yeah, as soon as we get his fangs <gasps> in there. Oh, my God. Wow. Good on you, Squish. He has about 12 to 14 millimetre long fangs. That was a huge amount of liquid came out. Yeah. And it's got compressor muscles on the side too so that press it up against the bone. So it has a syringe-like action is propelled under incredible force wow. over 100 lethal doses on any given milking. So, Christina, where is all of that liquid actually made in? So it's got venom glands just behind the eye here and it's a specialised gland. So there'll be a myriad of toxins in there, up to 100, 150 different types of toxins within a venom gland and of course designed to immobilise prey. To see what happens when those toxins get into the bloodstream, I'm going to take part in an experiment. They leave a pretty looking corpse. <laughs> One where my blood is going to be envenomated. So I'm going to show what Koso Taipan venom does to the blood. Now, of course, this is a smaller volume than what's in your body. So this will actually simulate what happens to prey items as opposed to inside a human body. So the first step is I'm going to pour one of these vials into one of these jars. This is liquid gold here. <laughs> Christina pours my blood into two jars. One will be mixed with venom and the other water as a control. So that's going to prove that it's not just the fact that we've taken it out of your body. And then it's toxin time. So here is Squishy's venom that we extracted recently. And in less than three minutes. So as you can see, as I go to ah! pour, so we can demonstrate what's actually going on. Oh my God, it's really solid. That one has turned into a piece of jelly whereas the control is still liquid. There we go. fascinating. That was so quick. Here's where the action of venom gets intriguing. While small amounts of blood, like in a rat, completely coagulate, it works differently in the human body. It's a bit opposite, and it all comes down to the volume of blood. Now, inside you, you have litres of blood. So the venom is very dilute throughout your entire body. So it does create small little clots, but it's not enough to cause a stroke. Instead of creating one big clot and stroking out like a prey item would, you'd actually bleed out internally. So is there a potential you know, medical application for that though? Because clotting, making more you know, circulation, these are things that we all need in our in our daily life. Absolutely, and there's already been a case where there's a very procoagulant venom like Taipan, but it's actually from an eastern brown snake, and there's a protein, a toxin, in their venom that's currently being patented, and it's in order to stop people from bleeding out during surgery. So doctors can actually use the venom at the site where they're trying to prevent bleeding from occurring. So it absolutely has great potential medical uses. That's so cool. And because venoms from different animals affect different systems in the body, there's a whole range of toxins that could be useful in medicine. Just about everything you can think of. <laughs> so depending on the species, some of those effects are myotoxicity, so affecting your muscles, bursting those cells. You've got neurotoxicity, preventing your nerves from, from acting as they should normally. Coagulotoxicity, as we're seeing with this coastal type band. Uh, we've also got cytotoxicity, affecting your cells. Um, you've got hematoxicity as well, affecting red blood cells and uh, blood pressure and also cardiotoxic toxins as well that, it, that affect your heart specifically. So there's basically not a system inside a body that some sort of venom somewhere doesn't act on. Absolutely, thanks to evolution. Thank you, evolution. <laughs>